Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, so once again, we are looking down the barrel of a bank holiday weekend. Um, probably lots of opportunity for staying in, staying safe and getting absolutely trashed because that's really all we can do, isn't it? And I can't tell you enough, if you are a carer for young children, please, please start drinking in the morning. Now is not the time to hold back and no one's going to respect you for that. Um, really beautiful cocktail today, so celebratory cocktail and you know Jesus has risen, it's all risen, we're all very excited, it's all good news. Um, also Easter bunnies and chocolate eggs which is my main focus for the holiday but still either way it's fine. Um, so we're going to do a really classic beautiful cocktail. So this is called champagne cocktail, we're actually making it with Prosecco, partly because I had a bottle open and waste not whatnot but also because I don't think you should ever, ever, ever use champagne in a cocktail. I think it's a huge waste of a special drink. And if you drink as much as me, you need a drink that you have when things are special. How do you know you're celebrating? You can't crack open a bottle of champagne every other night. It just doesn't make sense. Um, this drink involves uh, champagne, Prosecco as the base, um, a little tiny dash of what should be cognac, but is the cheapest brandy I could possibly get hold of because we have no standards here. Angostura bitters, which are doing a lot of work in this particular drink, and a lovely little sugar cube, which we're going to start by popping the bottle of a beautiful crystal champagne glass. You can use your IKEA crap, no one minds. Um, and what we want to do is we want to use our perfectly steady hand, as you've all seen my perfectly steady hand, and we want to drip some Angostura bitters onto the cube. And please, oh, I've missed it. Oh, it's on the cube, got it. You want it so the cube just turns red. There's a little bit in the bottom. Um, difficult to see that, but, but you sort of imagine a red cube in the bottom of a glass. Have you got it? Yeah, fantastic. Perfect. Good work, guys. Um, and that's the basis of it. And what we're going to do is pour our champagne onto that for a second, and you're going to see that the sugar cube dissolves and slowly releases the colour, which we can see sort of going up the glass there. I made that one a little while ago, so it doesn't look quite so elegant. The problem with this, you need to pull straight into the glass, so you end up with a lot of bubbles. So we might need to have a chat later. And I have to say, this is one of those drinks where I'm not sure about the provenance. I probably should read up all these things, shouldn't I? I can tell you what I know, um, but there's lots of stuff that I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, <laughs> you're watching this. Um, and then we top that up. We want to get really quite near the top. Oh, please don't go over the top. Don't make me have to slurp it up the top again. It's becoming a bit of a signature move. Um, oh God, this is taking its time. Sorry, guys. There we go. That is enough, I would say. Oh, and just another little bit there for me to swing out the bottle on the way to the kitchen. Um, and then we take our cognac, very cheap brandy, and we just put a dash in the top, and really not much. Ooh. There we go. So that was probably about a quarter of a measure, I would guess. Um, and there we have the base of the drink. Now, the um, garnish for this, usually you would use an orange wedge and some cherries, but my glasses, because they are so beautiful and elegant, are also quite small, so I couldn't fit my massive orange wedge in the top of it. So I am instead using a lemon, just for the look of it, um, which doesn't respect anything in this drink whatsoever, but it looks very nice. And I'm using some cherries, and you may notice I'm now down to only glass A cherries, but I can't find them for love my money, and also I suspect they're not an essential item, cocktail cherries. Mm, they should be, but I don't think they are. So we'll pop that on there. There we have a truly beautiful drink. Could you imagine receiving that at a bar? You'd be so happy, wouldn't you? Um, hold it by the stem, you can see the colour at the bottom. Little sugar cube dissolving away. You can use your sticky cherries as a little stir if you want. Oh no, the cherries fell off. It's alright. I'll get to the bottom of this. Um, and there we have a very beautiful drink. And I've suddenly realised my really beautiful decoration is going to cause me a nightmare. So that's coming off. Mm. That is too easy to drink. That is beautiful. Oh. Got a kick as well. The brandy really does something for you there. Um, I really, so I will learn more about this. I'll put more in the captions on YouTube so you can see what it's about. Um, but beautiful classic drink, sets off the weekend a treat, celebration, come on, it's a bank holiday, we can still be happy even living our best isolation lives, uh, and uh, have a great Easter. Something really special coming over the weekend involving chocolate, which I would never normally do, but I figure why not. Um, I hope you're still enjoying these, I'm really loving making them, and I will speak to you soon. Bye guys.